Welcome to this short video presentation to the Welding Techniques program offered by Conestoga College at our campus at Cambridge, Ontario. Hello everyone, my name is Jim Galloway. I'm one of the welding faculty members at Conestoga College. I work in that big building behind me. I'm also the program coordinator of the Welding Techniques program, and I hope that you've joined me today so you can learn a little bit more about that program. Within that facility, there's 20,000 square feet of dedicated floor space to the welding and fabrication world. The Welding Techniques program is a one-year program that introduces you to that field. If you'll bear with me for a short presentation, I'll explain more about the program, and I'll also provide some contact information, and you can also find your way to virtual tours of our facilities so you can see what's inside those four walls. Thank you for your time today. At this time, I'd like to do a little introduction to myself as program coordinator, but I want to emphasize I'm only one person on a teaching team. We have experts in metal fabrication, engineering drawings, welding skills, welding process theory. All the different experts work together as a team to teach the students. For myself, I'm a graduate from Conestoga College. I graduated from the Welding Tech program back in 1982. After that, I earned a welding red seal, but I'm also a welding engineering technologist. I've also earned some other credentials in welding inspection and whatnot, but that's the primary credentials that I have. I've worked in this business for 38 years. I started off as welding inspection at a nuclear power plant construction project, but I've also worked in welding research and development and I've been a manufacturing manager in a couple of plants. Most recently, obviously, I've been doing technical education. In the next few slides, I'd like to give you some highlights to the program. We're going to look at pathways that students have when they complete the program or in the education world or also career paths. But the bottom line is students are looking for good careers. And in the welding industry, there are good careers locally. There's still a high demand for welding and fabrication skill sets. So we've set up our programs to fulfill that need. We work very closely with industry on our program advisor committee and equipment suppliers to give the students the knowledge they need to be successful. The program is over 50% of the time in the, in the shop doing hands-on work, practical work supported by theory, which is important to understand safety, processes, engineering drawings, and all those support courses. You'll see we have the virtual tour that we've got an excellent facility. We've got lots of welding equipment, big shops. Every student gets their own welding booth that's well ventilated. We've got a welding technology lab. We have a big metal fabrication shop. We have a welding robotics facility and also a welding and inspection lab. All of these are facilities that we've built up and that makes our program one of the strongest in the country, certainly in Ontario. Conestoga College's Welding Techniques program is a one-year program. It starts in September and students graduate in the spring. The focus of the program is on welding skills development, but also with any trade, we also include a theory component. It's important for students to understand safety, welding process settings, gases, electrodes, all the important considerations that must be to meet an employer's expectations. Most employers expect uh, welders to read prints, so we teach engineering drawings. All Ontario College programs include trade calculations and reading and writing skills development. So that's the emphasis of our program is building welders, teaching them the theory and getting them into the trade. However, our unique approach is to also use the same training materials, facilities and equipment that we use to train welder apprentices. So welder and metal fabricator apprenticeship trades are also available at Conestoga. And I'll explain more about that process later. But the welding techniques program is really your first step into this business. So we try to, as much as possible, accommodate the students needs and build their skills and theory knowledge up so that they can apply the trade. 
Also, you'll learn more as we go through the presentation, there are opportunities to take the credits earned in the Welding Techniques program and apply them to other programs for advanced standing. You'll see as we go through this presentation. One of the key advantages of the way the welding programs are structured at Conestoga College is the integration of the programs. It's called laddered learning. Students have the option of starting into a welding techniques program, which is a one-year program, so you to earn an Ontario College certificate after one year in welding techniques. Those students have the option of continuing on in other programs, provided that their marks are equivalent to the first year of the technology math, which requires a 70%, they could go into these two programs. These are three-year engineering technology programs. One's targeted at welding robotics, and the other one's targeted at welding inspection. But these are engineering technology programs, and so the requirement would be to achieve at least 70% in the first year math courses called trades calculations. But that's certainly possible. We have students that do it all the time. Another option is to take the two-year welding and robotics technician. This program has less emphasis on engineering, but it does have a strong emphasis on welding automation. This is a new program, and you would not have to achieve 70% in math, just pass those courses with a minimum of 55%. So these students could then transfer into that program. Or they could continue on in the welding and fabrication technician. That's a two-year course with an emphasis on metal fabrication in the second year. So this foundation year then establishes the baseline skills for all the students in all the programs. They're all in the same welding skills courses and they're in the same welding theory courses. The only difference is the engineering technology students take a, a different math course. So there is a pathway then for students in any of these programs after the completion of year one to continue on in another program. For example, a student in welding and fabrication technician that decides to switch can go into this program. And if they achieve over 70% in math, they can get into either one of these two programs. So these are all options. Another great option is that if a student who is in the two-year program, one of these programs, decides not to continue on, they can then graduate with welding technique certificate and complete, the, complete their college program with a certificate. Another important option is the ability for students to go into an apprenticeship. So the pathway is here. These are exemption exams. We've structured our programs to be compatible with the Ontario apprenticeship curriculum for both the metal fabricator trade and the welder trade. As you can see, these two trades have a common baseline as well. First year is common for metal fabricators and welders. So the students then, at the completion of the program, could apply to write exemption exams. That would give them advanced standing in the apprenticeship. After working as an apprentice at a company earning experience, they could also then complete the interprovincial trade qualifications or red seals. And there's two different red seal exams. That's after normally after the completion of a three year apprenticeship with the work experience. Those are all options. So the pathways have been established. We call it laddered learning or stackable credentials, and it gives the students a lot of flexibility. We have many students who enter the first year of the programs, not really sure what they want to do in their career. And once they learn more about something like welding robotics or welding inspection, we see a lot of students that request to switch over and will allow it provided they have all the credits and provided there's room in those programs. We've never turned anyone away yet. So this is a strong advantage of the Conestoga College welding technology programs. One of the new requirements in most programs in Ontario is the need for the students to bring their own device. This basically is a laptop. Many students already have laptops, but it depends on the program requirements. Programs vary from program to program in terms of the software used. In our program, we're recommending a machine that can run the most advanced software that we require, 
Most of the applications are Microsoft and fairly general. However, as you'll see in the next slide, we are requiring that the students have a machine that can run AutoCAD and SolidWorks. On this slide, you can see the specifications for the laptops that we're recommending for students to bring with them for school. In our case, we run certain software, AutoCAD and, and also uh, SolidWorks, and these are fairly computer intensive. So we're recommending this minimum requirement. One thing you'll note that may vary a little bit from what you see on the website is that we're not recommending Apple products based upon some conflicts that we've seen with students trying to operate the software using an Apple product. Apparently it is possible, but it's just one of these hiccups we're trying to avoid. I'm not a computer geek, but for those who uh, are knowledgeable at computer, you can basically take this information to any computer shop and they will be able to help you acquire the proper technology. There's more information on the college website as well. Over the next few slides, I'll be giving you this virtual tour of Conestoga College's Cambridge campus and our welding facilities. I encourage you, though, to click the links yourself. They're available through the program page on the college website. You can then explore the campus yourself and look at the other facilities. So first, I'd like to locate where we are. We're at Conestoga College's Cambridge campus. So let's zoom in on Cambridge. You can see we're near the south end of Kitchener and the north end of Cambridge. We're right off the 401. Let's zoom in on Conestoga. That's our Dune campus, and we're basically in that location near Homer Watson and the 401. Let's have a look at Google Earth. There, you can see the college residence. That big area is the Dune campus. We're on the other side of the highway. There is a shuttle bus between the different campuses. Let's zoom in on our campus. Here we're near the roundabout at the corner. That's the front of the building. There's a bus stop right in that area. Let's go around the back. Down in this area, you can see the entrance from the parking lot. And that white wall is the shop areas. Here you can see the welding shops. Those big ventilation systems, they're basically their, our exhaust system to keep the air clean in the shop. This is the start of the virtual tour of the Cambridge campus. Here we're looking alongside the building. We'll go back and have a look. This is the front entrance to the building. We encourage you to have a look yourself. Again, the links to the virtual tours are available through the college website or the welding program pages. Let's have a quick look around the main floor. This is the lobby, the atrium. That's Conestoga Students Incorporated's office. This atrium is three stories tall. There are actually three floors of classrooms. All the shops are on the main floor. Let's have a look at some of the key service areas on the main floor. That's the library. Here's the cafeteria. This is the student lounge. This is a service hub sponsored by Conestoga Students Incorporated. This is an example of one of the large lecture theaters. Here's a study area for students on the second floor. This is another large lecture theater, but I will tell you in our programs, we typically don't use these large rooms. The welding programs, typically use a smaller classroom. We don't have that large number of students in one group. 
Now we're going to go into the welding and fabrication areas. Again, in our program, we're not just welding, but we also do metal fabrication. Obviously, welding skills are very important. It's a heavy emphasis on the first year of the program. But we also teach fabrication machine operations. This person is creating a metal part that's been formed on a press brake. Once the pieces are created, they may have holes in it, they may be bent, they may be rolled. All the pieces are assembled and tacked together. So fitting and layout skills are extremely important in our industry. Each of our students works in a welding booth. The welding booths have a number of different welding processes in them. Maybe gas tungsten arc welding, shielded metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding, and thermal cutting. There are 45 booths similar to this out in the welding skills shop. Now I'd like to take you for a tour of the metal fabrication shop. If you go straight down that aisleway, you can see some welding booths. There are 45 welding booths in the welding skills shop at the back. Closer to the camera is our metal fabrication shop. To the left, you can see a bunch of orange screens. They're surrounding our plasma cutting machine. That's a CNC plasma cutting machine for cutting flat plate into shapes. As we look through the shop, we can see the large machine there. That's a press brake for bending metal. That can bend steel up to 3 eighths of an inch thick. That's a sheet metal shear, the smaller machine. And the big machine there is a plate shear. That's for cutting steel 3 eighths of an inch thick. You can see the overhead crane and some material storage areas. That's a CNC press brake for bending steel. There's a plate rolls and in behind it you can see some workstations for students who are doing their fitting projects. Next, we'll have a look around our welding technology lab. This lab is unique in Ontario and probably in Canada. We have a variety of different advanced welding process capabilities in this, in this facility. You can see different brands of welding machines. These are advanced machines, so these aren't your regular welding machine. They can do pulsing. They can do different welding processes that maybe you've never even heard of. Over there, you can see the ventilation systems, and it's over top of some advanced controlled machines. The computer controlled machine there is a spot welder. There's another spot welder. And in behind you can see some other equipment. We have a variety of different welding process capabilities in this facility. We can weld plastics, we can weld heavy plate, we can weld stainless steels, we can weld aluminum, we can weld all kinds of metals. So again, it's a very unique facility. It's our welding tech lab. Conestoga College is also fortunate to have one of North America's top welding training facilities for robotic welding. Here, we have students programming one of our six arc welding robots. These students are programming using a teach pendant. We also teach students to program from 3D models. Here, we generate a 3D model with software such as SolidWorks and introduce that part into a virtual reality world with a virtual reality robot. We have a real robot, just like it, but in the virtual reality world, we can test the robot's program without ever actually having the real part in our hands. Once the students learn how to program that robot, then we can take that program and download it to a real robot. Here you can see the same part, a little pipe being welded getting ready to weld by an arc welding robot. That program was learned in a virtual reality world. We've had lots of success with this, but this is a specialty of our students in our Manufacturing Engineering Technology Welding Robotics program. That's one of our three-year engineering technology programs. We've also had success with additive manufacturing. Here, we're doing 3D printing of metals using an arc welding robot that the students have learned to program to do the job. The mug you see 
was created out of stainless steel by our students using that welding robot. Conestoga College also has a lab dedicated to welding inspection and metallurgy. We have a program, a three-year program, called Welding Engineering Technology Inspection. In that program, students study, for example, the metallurgy of welds. Here you can see a student looking through a microscope at a polished sample of a weld to try to understand the metallurgical structure of the weld. The image has been projected up onto that computer screen. Students in that program also study various aspects of welding inspection. Here you can see a group of students studying the ultrasonic inspection of welds. This method is similar to medical ultrasound. It sends sound waves into the steel. And if there's any defects in the weld, they bounce back and send a signal to the electronic equipment. Understanding these topics is a bit more technical than learning how to weld. So you have to think about this, but it is an option for students graduating from either the welding and fabrication technician or the welding techniques program. If they wanna to progress to these programs in engineering technology, either in inspection or welding automation, welding robotics, that's an option that's still open to you. The career opportunities for welding techniques grads are varied. Most of them are looking for jobs in the welding industry, obviously. The job opportunities are generally called welder or welder fitter, although many companies have different names. In terms of our graduate success, 86% of graduates from the past three years found employment within six months of graduation. Despite the COVID epidemic, the job market for welding and metal fabricating trades are still strong in this area. A lot of students who are entering the trades are always asking questions and interested in the opportunities to be a journey person. How do we become a journey person? Well, that's through an apprenticeship. In Ontario, there are two specific trades in the industrial world that are targeted at welding and metal fabrication. That's the welder and metal fabricator fitter. These trades are designed to bring a person up to a level that's what we call at the Red Seal or interprovincial level. That gives you the opportunity to work across the country applying the trade. In our programs, we've designed the content to be compatible with the apprenticeship trades. This provides the opportunity for graduates to proceed over through a, an exemption exam to enter a, an occupational trade and find employment as an apprentice. By being an apprentice, you can then complete the trade by learning, learning the on the skills portion. And at the end of that, you can write an interprovincial exam. Again, the two primary trades that we're focused on in our area and we deliver at Conestoga College are the welder and the metal fabricator. There are also many other related trades. I've listed some of them here. Construction boiler maker, iron worker, steam fitter, and sheet metal worker. There's other ones as well, such as a construction millwright. A lot of those trades do a significant amount of welding. A construction boiler maker, it doesn't say they're welders, but essentially they're metal fabricators and they have welders working alongside them. Uh, same for steam fitters, and, and that would be a, a construction trade where they fit pipes and weld them together. Um, iron workers are for primarily working in the structural steel world, and sheet metal workers work on thin, thinner sheets and thinner gauges of metal. So these trades all do welding. They all have aspects of what we're teaching. And many of our graduates have gone on to those career paths as journey people in these Red Seal trades. Just gonna go through some of the frequently asked questions that people have and try to provide a quick answer, but again, more information can be found from the website. Can I switch into another welding program from this one? And that's an emphatic yes. The programs that we have at Conestoga College are integrated so that p students who complete year one of any of the programs that were listed can then transfer their credits into the second year of another program. Provided you have 70% in math, both math courses in year one, you can uh, take your um, 
credential there in the mathematics and apply it to the engineering technology field if you choose. Or you can take the two-year welding robotics program. How much welding will I learn? Well, you're going to learn all the basic welding processes. Shielded metal arc welding or stick welding, gas tungsten arc welding or TIG welding, um, MIG welding or gas metal arc welding is a proper name, flux cord arc welding. All of these are welding processes that we focus on in first year. We also uh, focus on metal uh, cutting techniques and everyone also takes a metal fabrication course. So there's a lot of welding. Over 50% of the first year of the program is in the welding skills shop. Will I earn welding tickets? Well, that's a trade qualification. There are various organizations that sponsor welding qualifications. And the primary one in our area uh, that you'd be looking at would be the Canadian Welding Bureau. We do offer Canadian Welding Bureau testing. We can't do the testing ourselves. The Canadian Welding Bureau has to come in and actually do the testing. So it's an extra fee, but we do provide the opportunity for the Canadian Welding Bureau to come in and test students near the end of the program. Are there other credentials once I'm finished? As I mentioned, the opportunity to, to apply your trade and, and go for an apprenticeship and earn a red seal is one of the primary targets that a lot of graduates have. So yes, there are other, other credentials. You don't have to have them to get a job, but there are other opportunities. And generally, obviously with more credentials or more um, skills you have, the higher up you go on the pay scale at many companies. Are there apprenticeship opportunities? Yes. Many of our graduates, and again, we at Conestoga, we were one of the largest apprenticeship training um, schools in, in the province, and we uh, do offer the welder and the metal fabricator fitter trade right in, in the same campus and using the same facilities that the students in your program would be um, using. We're also learning from many of the same documents and, and uh, learning packages. So we teach both. I teach in the apprenticeship program. I also teach in the post-secondary program, like your program. And uh, so certainly the, uh, the opportunity is there to, uh, to move into apprenticeship. How much will I earn when I graduate? And that really depends on the employer. I've seen anywhere from, you know, low on the low side, uh, you know, $16, $17 an hour up to $30 an hour for new graduates. It really depends on the company and the type of welding you're doing. The higher skills you have, the more credentials you have, the typically the higher you will be paid. Also, the uh, the the more critical that the product that's being manufactured for example you might be making a, a boiler for a for a, a nuclear power plant well that's going to have a lot higher quality requirements and generally the pay is going to go higher but the expectation of the employer is also higher for welding skill level uh, attention to detail quality performance all that stuff you're paid for the ability to do that the opportunities are wide open, though. We've seen graduates who have earned very, very great wages uh, not too soon out of school. It really depends on the person and the opportunities and how they, uh, how they approach those opportunities. So there are some frequently asked questions, and I hope I can respond to some of those here. And, and I have been responding to them through this presentation. Can I switch to another welding program after this one? The answer is yes. We encourage that. We've had many students who enter the program to take a one year welding certificate and then they apply those credits for advanced standing in other programs. This happens all the time within the, the, the family of welding programs at Conestoga College. How much welding will you learn? You're gonna be learning all the basic welding processes. Especially in first year, there's a heavy emphasis on welding skills and metal fabrication and cutting. So those thermal cutting processes are, are held in a different course, but the welding skills are taught such as GMAW or MIG welding, flux cord arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding or TIG welding, and shield of metal arc welding or stick welding. All of the basic common welding courses that are, that are taught in the first year of the program. Over 50% of the first year is in the welding shops. Will you earn welding tickets? We are CWB, Canadian Welding Bureau Test Centre. So yes, we do offer the opportunity for students to complete the, the practical tests that are required by the Canadian Welding Bureau to earn those tickets. 
the Canadian Welding Bureau does have to uh, does have to manage those. They actually use our shop. They come in and we offer the opportunity for students to challenge those tests. No guarantee that you'll pass, and it's up to the Canadian Welding Bureau who looks after the fees and whatnot. But we do offer that opportunity. We are a CWB test center. Are there other credentials that I need? Not necessarily. Many students who graduate from our programs, they just go off and get a job. Other students, as I'll mention in a minute, do decide that they'd like to become an apprentice and a journey person. And so that pathway is also there. So beyond the credentials of welding qualifications or tickets, there may be some need in some industries for other qualifications, such as inspection or, uh, or some kind of trade qualification. But generally, it's not required in the welding industry. As I mentioned in previous slides, there are opportunities to pursue an apprenticeship. Many of our apprentice students are graduates from the, this program. How much will a graduate earn? That's all over the map. I've seen graduates who start off at 15 or $16 an hour or up to $30 an hour. Really depends on what they're welding and who they're working for and how hard they want to work and what skills are required. So the opportunities are there. The wages can be good. There's a high demand for the, for the skill set in our region. So the wages follow that. Well, thank you for joining me today for a little bit of information on our welding and fabrication programs. I know there's lots of options and opportunities. You have other colleges to consider, but I hope you can see the benefits that Conestoga College offers. One of the unique opportunities is if you join us in one of these programs and you decide that your future lies in a program such as welding engineering technology, welding robotics, which is obviously an industry that's expanding like gangbusters in Ontario, the opportunities there for you to ladder from these programs and build your career, whether it's in the apprenticeship world, whether it's in the, the technology side of the business, robotics, inspection, that's what we're here for. We're here to, to provide an opportunity. What you're looking at in our programs is the first rung on the ladder to success. There's lots of opportunity. It's really up to you. If you need more information, please don't hesitate to email me. Thank you.